Hello, uh, good evening to everybody. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Good evening, Miss Molina. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm fine too. Do you work today? Or you are? I have, uh, I don't work. You don't work? Oh, okay, okay. No, I don't work. I don't have any work, only in my house. Um, oh, it's in your house. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. I take care of my father. Oh, really? Oh, he is all the people, and he has a lot of dishes right now. Mm -hmm. It's for this reason I don't have any work, and okay. only I take care of him. Okay, very good. So and the, yes. the thing is that you're investing your time learning English. And that's good. Okay. Yes. Because okay. in the future. Uh -huh. I have a plan, a plan because I, I think, or I mm -hmm. hope, I will help um, travel to United States and oh, okay. uh, in some years later, and then it's for the reason I learn in English and oh, I try good. to improve because yeah. I because that's going I to help you. Me. That's going to help. Yeah. Me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very good. So, the best wishes for you. Uh, let's see, Mr. Ramirez. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Uh, and what about you? Uh, you work today? Yes, I work in all day. I oh. I I go. I went out uh, some late at uh, six six thirty p.m. Okay, okay, very good. So let's see who else is here. Uh, Mister, let me see your name. I can see it. Mister Sanchez. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you oh. tonight? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. And you? I'm pretty good. Thank you. Okay, very good. You're resting now. No, I I work. Ah, you worked today. Oh, yeah. okay. Very good. I went to La Union. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. What about the issues there? Uh, excuse me. What about the beaches? Ah, it's, it's very nice. It's nice. Okay, I seen. Uh, I've been there in La Union, uh, in a place that is called. Uh, um, in Spanish, is Parque La Familia. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a that's a beautiful place. I've been in an island too. But the weather is terrible. Really? <laughs> Why? Yes. Why? Yes, it's colder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Most of the time here in in, in this uh, sun is uh, a little bit hot than the than the um in the central part of El Salvador. Okay, let's see who else is here. Miss Garcia, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let me see who else is here. Uh, Mr. Torres, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Uh, let me see, Miss Vidal, welcome. Okay, well, we're going to start with a uh, video class for tonight. And uh, we're going to see um, some of the uh, topics that you are developing in the platform. I remember that yesterday we're talking um, and we're talking about uh, no, sorry, I got I got confused with with you. Uh, let me see. 
Okay, we're talking about how to use have and get. I remember that. And, and we discussed many things about it, but we didn't watch a video or we did. You remember? We didn't watch the video, right? The video from the platform. No, no teacher. No oh, teacher. Very good. So uh, that's been that we're going to start with it. I'm going to play the video, the video that you have in the platform, then we're going to discuss. Um, that's the first thing that we're going to do, but uh, let me see how many people do up here. Two, we're just six people. But anyway, it's um, 10, I mean, nine with six minutes and we can wait more. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to share it with you. The, I'm going to share it with you the cool uh, Chrome. Give me a second, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just looking for the video. Okay, this part. Oh, I have to tell you something too. Um, I receive a message in a platform that uh, you have to complete all the exercise before 24, February 24. Because I don't know if, if it is in your platform too, but there is a message there uh, as a reminder that you need to uh, finish the, the course because there are just two weeks, less than two weeks missing and the course closes in, in February, I mean, February 24. And if you don't finish, even though if you finish later, you won't receive the certification. Um, so for that reason, you must meet all the requirements that are, has been asked for this course. Uh, okay, after saying that, I'm going to show, show you the video. Okay, here we have. Can you see the, the, the screen? Please let me know if you can see the screen. No. No, not no yet. teacher. Oh. Oh. Okay, give me a second. Let me see. What about now? Can you see the screen now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mister. Yes. Oh, but I didn't share the audio. Let me see if I can do it. Okay. Very good. Uh, so I will play the video, but uh, let me know if you uh, listen or not uh, the, the the audio of this video. Um, also, you I have to remember you that you can find this video in the platform too, and you can. Uh, check the information that we have here. So pay attention and uh, then we're going to discuss, okay? Let's see, I mean, let's watch. Hello, ready to begin? I want to remind you that in English, we can say the same idea in another way. Does active and passive voice ring a bell? Stay and find out. Page 59, exercise three, grammar focus have or get something done. Use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? You can have Hazel's personal services fix your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Passive. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's personal services. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. I know this is not new for you, 
active and passive, remember? We have told you that in English we may say the same sentence in another way. This time we will learn how to use active and passive using have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. As always, let's work on active first. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. We're using have plus someone plus base form of the verb. Let's type an example using get. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Get plus someone plus infinitive verb. Moving on, we have passive. You can have or get your bike fixed. It's optional to write at or buy a shop. Have or get plus object plus past participles. It's optional to use at or buy. I want you to work in class. I want you to talk about two things you want to have done. Remember, you may type your answers on our discussion box. Okay, very good. So watch the video and we're going to do that activity. Um, you're going to think into things that you want it to be done, okay? Uh, and you have to write it using active voice and passive voice, but let's wait uh, for this activity because I want you to, um, to tell me if you can understand how active voice and passive voice works. If not, I will uh, make a, a review of it and then we're going to work. So let me know. Uh, do you know how active voice and passive voice works? Yes or no? For me, yes, teacher. In your case, yes. Uh, in your case, yes, okay. Very good. What about the rest? Yes, teacher, I understand. Okay, very good. Let's see, what about the rest? Mr. Ramirez, Mr. Garcia, Miss. I mean, Miss Garcia, Miss Molina. Um, Teacher, I prefer, if you prefer uh, explain again, I pleasure. Okay, okay, very good. So, uh, well, um, it's going to be quickly the, 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 the reviews of active voice and, and passive voice, but I'm going to use the slides that we have here. Now we're going to start with a uh, with passive voice. Give me a second. Uh, in this, I mean with active voice. And it is here. Okay, when we use active voice in English, um where we are using uh, the structure of um, have plus someone plus um, the verb in infinity um, or the base form of the verb that is called uh, infinity too. Um, this, is, this is going to be um, the structure of an active voice using have. What happened with active voice? The active voice is a common use when you're talking with someone else and you're speaking about something, okay? And in English, well, in Spanish too, there are two ways to say things. Um, these, uh, these options to say the things are called uh, active and passive voice. If you notice in the first sentence that we have here, it says you can have uh, repeat, you can have a repair shop fix your bike, okay? You can have a repair shop fix your bike. Okay, in this case, we're using active voice and the verb have. And okay. in this part, okay, in this part, if we want to change the active voice to a passive voice, we are going to do the following. We're going to use we're going to use the um, add. Change the verb for past participle. Exactly, exactly. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use add and by to connect um, or 
express that someone did something, but in an indirect way. In this case, in the passive voice, we are going to have this structure of have uh, or get plus the object, okay, the object of the sentence plus the past participle um, that must be done with at or by. Let's check an example of it. Um, Uh, let me see, what is it, the example? Give me a second. Okay, no. Okay, the, the example is here. <laughs> I didn't see. Um, okay, because I, I have a, the 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 band of the of Zoom there. Sorry. Uh, here we have the example. You can have a get your bike fixed at bike shop. Okay. If we notice in this part, uh, we have two options. Okay. We can use have or we can use get. The, the meaning is going to be the same. And we can use at or we can use by and the meaning is going to be the same. In this case is I want to say, you can have your buy fix by shop, okay? And the subject of the sentence, it's followed, uh, it's followed by a shop, okay? By, by I mean, after buy a shop. Um, how we construct the sentence? Okay, we're going to use the past participle, in this case, fix, that is the past participle, and this will be modified because we're using the auxiliary uh, verb uh, have in this case. Uh, let's check the examples that we have in the uh, in the PowerPoint presentation. I will stop sharing and I will show you the class. Give me a second. Second. Can you see the, the screen right now? No. No, teacher. No. Well, okay, I will do it here then. Um, here I have. I will edit this and I will edit just these sentences in this way. Okay, can you see the sentences that uh, yeah. I left there? Okay, uh, in the first one, okay, in the, in the sentence number one, this one, this sentence, the sentence number one, this one is active voice, okay? We're reporting something. I will clean the house every Saturday, okay? I will clean the house every Saturday. If we notice, we're using the simple present, I mean, simple future, sorry, the simple future in the sentence. When we construct, okay, when we construct a passive voice, we're going to uh, interchange the object of this sentence. Instead of saying, I clean the house, I will clean the house every Saturday, I will say, the house will be cleaned in this part, we are using the past participle, okay, by me every Saturday. The house will be cleaned by me every Saturday. A, what we are doing here is just changing changing the object of the sentence, the order of the object. 
Um, instead of saying, I will clean the house, I uh, instead use the object, okay? In this case, the object is the house, and I'm going to take it and put it at the beginning, okay? The house will be clean, okay? Check it out, this will clean this part um, that we have here is going to be modified using the past participle. When we use the past participle, ah, okay, we use the past participle when we use the verb to be uh, before the verb or the main verb. In this case, we're using V, okay? We're using the verb V uh, to change this structure. Instead of saying, we'll clean, the verb will, it must be, will be clean using past participle. Then we use by to connect with the subject who is going to do the, the to do the the action. Why uh, or the, as we saw in the in the video before, we can use by or at depend on depend on the context, and we are going to uh, add the uh, subject of that sentence. That's in this case is I. I will change it by me. Okay, I, me, and um, the repetition of the action. By me, every Saturday. Okay, here we have okay. the sentence with active voice, and then we have this sentence with passive voice. Active. And passive. passive voice okay this is the sentence number two is it clear yes teacher thank you okay very good so i will stop this and we are going to i will show you the powerpoint presentation let me see if i can do it um, Problem with this with, with Zoom right now. Let me see. There. Very good. So we discuss this. We discussed that. Uh, now we're going to do an, we are going to do the activity. You're going to be working in trios and you're going to go to breakout rooms and you must construct two sentences. Think about something that uh, you want to be done, okay? Think about something like that and create two sentences. A, a sentence using active voice and a sentence using passive voice. Um, do you do you understand uh, what I'm asking from this activity? How many sentences we have to write? Just uh, two sentences. One for active voice and one for passive voice. That means two sentences, okay. one per okay. each, okay? So um, I will give you five minutes. Uh, do you think that is enough or do you want more time? Uh -huh. You think five minutes is enough or do you want more time? Let me know, please. To me, it's okay, five minutes. Yes, okay. I think it's okay. Okay, very good. I will stop sharing this and I will create the uh, breakout drones. Give me a second. Here, these parts must be 
in here upper row. Please accept the invitation and I will see you in five minutes. Michelle? Michelle, are you there? And Neftali? Okay, uh, Michelle is gone. Uh, Neftali, can you hear me? You must go to the corresponding group, Neftali. Okay. Yep. Okay. Is uh, two example. Uh, yes. Each okay. Do, do you have any example? Uh, let the, give me. Okay. I will mm, <laughs> <laughs> mm. I pain, for example. Pain. Paint, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. I paint the Will be um, paint. Will be paint. Is in painter. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. But I it doesn't that. matter if it doesn't matter if we don't use will because I I see the teacher give a, a, an example but using will. Yes. We have we have to use will or or doesn't matter. I think I, that we have to use have or get. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Oh, for example, it's the sense. Uh, Carlos will uh, wash the his clothing. I use that, and the other sentences, uh, maybe. The the cloud the okay, cloud. Um, can I interrupt you, guys? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Now uh, I was checking the, the examples that you're giving, and um, I want to remind you uh, something that uh, Mr. Ramirez uh, recently said. Um, if you're going to construct a sentence, you must use have. 
or get in order to mm -hmm. construct a, the active voice and passive voice. Okay? Okay. The example that I give to you using will, um, it was just an example of how we construct the sentence in active and passive voice. Okay, but the topic here, it's the ones that huh? we, we uh, saw yesterday. Okay, using yes. and get. Okay, so I will just Excuse me, okay. can, right. can we, we can use uh, in, the, in the example of the subject this Carlos has uh, in, or how? How so? You mean using what? Say so if I can say uh, Carlos can has. Oh, oh yeah, okay. you can do it. Oh, you can do it something. because you are using how. Okay, you can do it, doesn't matter. Okay, so thank you. You're using the model, okay? I will move. So if you have any question, just, uh, you have a button there that say uh, ask or, or I don't know, invite teacher. I don't know what it says, but there is a button there that it, that, that called me. Okay, bye guys. Thank you, teacher. So that is the problem that uh, use can have or can. We may is, I will do my homework in the night, is the active. In the past, the homework will be done by me Every in night. the night. Yes. Okay, yes. In, in other, this case, the the passive is example. Uh, no. What is hello? Um, hello, girls. Can I interrupt you? Okay. Yes. Okay. I was checking, I was checking the the sentences that you are constructing, and yeah. I have to remind you that we must use how or get uh, because. That's the, the, the topic that we were discussing yesterday and the ones that we saw in the video. When I use the passive and active voice fiber was an example of how we construct active and passive voice. So uh, what you have to do is just include the how in order to create the sentence because that's the, 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 the uh, for this section, okay? You must use how as the examples that you have in the platform. Okay. Um, no, I give in passive. Is it clear? Mm, no, not clear. <laughs> not clear. Okay. Uh, we, we we saw the 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 uh, topic. Uh, yes. Yesterday, that is called how or get some someone done, okay, or something done. Okay, okay. we're going to focus on it. We're going to focus on, 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 on based on that topic. And we have to construct an active sentence using have and a, a passive voice sentence using um, have or get. As we saw in the video, have we mean, um, I mean, have we watched okay. the video? Okay, yes. using have or using get? Okay, thank you. Okay, is it clear now? Is it clear now? Mm, yes, for me, yes. Okay. <laughs> Other example, uh, this form, uh, explain, please. Ah, sure. Okay, uh, I will uh, I will use a whiteboard here. Give me a second, I will put it there. In this bar. Let me see, I will clean all drones. Very good, section. Number uh, okay. Um, we saw in the video the sentence. I would I will type it. 
uh, it says you can get a repair shop to fix your bike. In this case, you can. Uh, you can get a. Uh, sorry. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. your bike, bike in this way, okay? Uh, can you see the, the, the sentence there? You can get a repair shop to get, uh, to fix your bike. Can you see it? Yes, repair, repair. Oh, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm repair, okay, in that way up to fix your bike okay can you see this sentence yes okay very good this sentence is constructed with an active uh, voice you can get a repair shop to fix your bike okay what we have to do in this case and uh, because we're using we're using a uh, the verb get okay in this case we're using this what we have to do is to change this sentence into a passive voice. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Um, how we do it? Okay, how we construct uh, that sentence using passive voice? Well, we're going to change the object. Okay, we have to use the object of the sentence and we have to move it to the um, beginning. Let's see, we're going to use the same in this case. You okay, can get in this part, uh, we have to use um, your bike, that is this, the, the, the object of this sentence, your bike, your bike, okay. And then we must use the past participle uh, of the verb that we have using uh, in the active voice. Okay, in this case, the, the verb is fixed. The sentence must be fixed, okay? Because this is the past participle. And then after we complete that, we must use at, okay? We must use at, or, or by, it doesn't matter if you, you decide what, which one do you want to use. And we are going to use the sub subject that we had for the, uh, for the first sentence. In this case, you can get your by fix at, okay, what could be? A repair shop. A at repair, repair shop. Uh -huh. <laughs> Repair shop. Okay, this part. If you notice what we're doing here is just changing it, changing uh, the sentence. Instead of saying a repair shop, this sentence that is, is uh, at the beginning, we are going to use it at the end and using uh, the, the, the preposition, okay? That we have here and the object the object of the of this sentence is going to be a uh, change it at the beginning okay your bike you can get we'll keep the same this part you can get and you can get your bike will be in this part the verb must be in this part, but must be a uh, past participle, that is this part. And then the, the, uh, the thing that we're talking about it will be at the end, that it will be connected with at, okay, at. This is something that we have to add 
to the passive voice. It's, it, this uh, construction is very easy. What we have to do is just uh, change the positions of the object and change the position of um, the thing that we're referring to. Is it clear? Okay, teacher, is more, more clear. Okay, we have to do that. I will move to another group because I think someone is, is calling me. Okay. Let me see. I will close all rooms right now. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, no problem. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we have finished. You finished? Okay. Sorry if I gave you more time because I was explaining something to a different groups. Um, so. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will close the breakout rooms right now, and then we're going to move to the principal uh, video conference. So see you there. All right. Okay, All teacher. Right. All right, see you there. Oh, um, is the time? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, your the return, Adela. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, I, I I was muted in and I thought that you were listening. Okay, I was asking you, I was asking you guys uh, that uh, if you already finished the exercises, you must post it in the chat of this video conference, or you can do it uh, typing or writing in the whiteboard. Uh, if you have the option, you, you can do it there. Uh, if not, you can use the chat and I will move the sentences uh, to the uh, to the whiteboard. Let me see, I have the first one. I have the first one and I will use green. I'm going to use green here. This is the first one. And the second one will be here. Okay, very good. Um, I got the, the sentence from Evaristo, but I can see just the active voice. Can you share me the passive voice of that sentence, please? Evaristo. Uh, 
Ok, thank you. I send, I send. Ok, thank you, thank you. Uh, put it there. Okay, and the last one. Uh, okay, and this part. there so as you can see we have here the sentences in active yes, in teacher, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, the sentence in active voice that uh, you copy twice uh, in active voice so um, you... oh got it got it i got it give me a second okay This one, right? Teacher, and in the, in the first and the passive voice, uh, I, I wrote a uh, cut, but I, I want to write a uh, get. This one. Instead of in that way. Thank you. Okay, very good. Let's see. Let's uh, check the sentences. The sentence number one that it says Carlos can get someone to wash his clothes. Okay. Uh, very good. And in the second one, we have Carlos Clothes can, okay, uh, can get worshiped by someone else. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh -huh. In this sentence, okay, the first one is correct. It, it, it is active voice and it's, and it's correct. But in the second one, uh, we have to construct a sentence using passive voice. But remember that we need the verb to be for using the past participle, okay? Do you remember that? Yes. Okay, so how we can construct that sentence using the past participle? Or instead, we must uh, change the position of the verb. Okay. For instance, we can use it in that way, using the, the, the verb to be, or we can use it in this way. Let's see. Uh, oh, what is the white word? Okay, without moving this. Instead of saying that, we can say Carlos, okay, can get, can get, okay. In this part, we're going to use um, the, the, the object of the sentence must be, instead of using, um, instead of using someone, can get his clothes, clothes, okay, wash it in past participle, in that way, wash it by someone, in this way, okay, Carlos, and get his clothes, 
washed by someone, just someone, okay? By someone. In this case, this is going to be one of the forms to construct uh, the passive voice of the active voice that we have here. We'll use the draw one. Uh, I mean, I will draw a line, okay? This is the active voice and this is the passive voice of that sentence in that way. We don't have to move this. Okay, we don't have to move uh, the, the, the verb. If, you use, if we use uh, the verb get in order to construct a passive voice, uh, we, can, we can do it in the other way if we use the verb be in this case. If we use um, uh, Carlos Clotes can be washed by someone, can be. Okay, in that way, must be, uh, must be, oh, well, will be correct. Uh, but, uh, but if we use get, the order of the sentence must be Carlos can get his clothes washed by someone. I don't know if, it's, if uh, it is clear what I'm saying or not. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, very good. So let's see the second exercise. It says, you can get a cleaner to clean the carpet. Okay, this sentence sounds familiar. And we have, you can have your cat clean by the cleaning service. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. The thing here is that, use this, okay. The thing is that if we use get, we must use get here too, okay? If we use have, we must use have here, okay? So um, if you're going to use the, 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 in the active voice, get, that's mean that you're going to use in passive boy, get. If we use the, the verb have in active voice, in passive voice, we are going to use have to. Uh, why? Because we have to, we have to use the same verb. Uh, uh, let me see, I got a message from Neftali. Joseph can buy corn to fries and meat. The corn of fries can be bought by Joseph. Okay, very good. Um, that's passive boy and active boy. Thank you. Bye. In this case, uh, must be get. Okay. Joseph. Must be get. Uh, someone has the, the microphone open, and I don't know who is that person. Let me check. Okay. I think it's closed now. Okay, so uh, we must just change that. Uh, the rest of the sentence is correct, and it is good. It is constructed in passive voice, and it is constructed in active voice. Let's see the other sentence. In this sentence, the woman threw the, the baseball, okay? The woman throws the baseball. The baseball is thrown by the woman, okay? Well, in this case, the sentences are correct in active and passive voice, but there is something missing. Uh, that we are not using the verb have, and even we are not using the verb get, okay? So in this case, the sentence do not correspond to the topic that we're talking about, we're discussing, because uh, we are not using the verb be. We're using the verb get and the verb have, okay? Or express that someone did something for us. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, well, I think that uh, time is over and we, we complete the sessions for today. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be talking, we're going to, to see the next topic uh, that correspond to, to this week. 
and um, also we're going to be developing some exercises too. Uh, do you have any question for me? No, teacher. No, teacher. I don't have any no. question. Okay. Well, so then uh, I um, I have to say goodbye because I have to attend a, a different group um, that is from intermediate right now, and uh, I will be answering any question if you have it in the WhatsApp group. So blessing for all of you and have a nice night. Okay. Bye guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.